You want to make a picture or a video? Yeah, a video of him, but... It's a video, go. <laughs> but you have to help him. He, he might fall. <laughs> No, 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 no. Sure, no. Can I keep you from the other arm here? No, 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 no. Sure, no. Just because. 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 Just Very oh. Oh. It's gonna be okay. painful, right? Eh? Much better. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, Pain? Oh, can I find the sun? Yeah. Yeah, up to the, the bench is better. Yeah. There it's a little bit windy, it's never sunny. A minute long video showing former Prime Minister Amama Babazi seemingly in pain as he exits a hotel on clutches aided by three butlers has steered debate about the current state of his health. It is unclear when the video was recorded, however, it shows that once Super Minister exiting Duke's London, according to the entrance. Duke's is a five star luxury hotel located in London, which goes for about shillings 2.2 million per night according to its website and it is about a five minute walk from buckingham palace a quick google search suggests in the video mr mbabazi exits the hotel without his trademark spectacles it is then that one of the battlers asks an unidentified lady filming you want to take a picture or video to which she responds a video of him but you have to help him, he might fall. Mr. Mbabazi responds, no, 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 as he asks the butler not to be far. Midway through his strides, he jokes, I'm also a big man. To which one of the butlers says, of course. Mr. Mbabazi, who looks to be in pain for most of the 109 second video clip, is relieved when he finally hits the ground. Where can I find the sun? There. He asks, before being led to a bench at the suggestion of a butler. Mr. Mbabazi in a tweet said he had a back ailment which was fixed. To all those that have sent me get well soon messages, I thank you for your encouragement, sympathy and love. It is not true that I got a stroke. I had a back ailment which was fixed and I have actually in the last week also been involved in fairly heavy diplomatic work thanks the formerly security minister said the development comes three days after mr mbarazi tweeted i send my best wishes to my elder brother and comrade in the struggle and the president of uganda yoweli kagutam seveni for a full and speedy recovery from covid19 my thoughts are with you your family and the people of uganda right now Get well soon. This was after President Museveni said he had taken forced leave after testing positive for COVID 19. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.